Now, while we're on this topic of New Horizons, there's something else that I think is important to note. 2006, many of you in this room are aware that Pluto got downgraded from a planet to a dwarf planet. Boo, I hear some people booing. That's my sense. So that happened before these images we got in 2015 and before the science that we got in 2015. And some people have argued that a planet, in order to be a planet, you have to be able to clear your orbit around the sun. Well, what we now know is that if that's the definition that we're gonna use, you could really undercut all the planets. They're all dwarf planets because there isn't a planet that clears its entire orbit around the sun. That being the case, I think it's a sloppy definition. Many of you have heard me say this publicly. I think the way you should define a, a planet is based on its intrinsic values, not the values that constantly change like orbital dynamics. So when I think about Pluto and what we got back from New Horizons, here's what we know. Pluto has an ocean under its surface. Pluto has complex organic compounds on its surface. Pluto has a multi-layer atmosphere and Pluto has its own moons. I'm here to tell you, as the NASA administrator, I believe Pluto is a planet. And I'm gonna to continue to tell everybody that I believe Pluto is a planet. And I know there's a lot of scientists out there that agree with that assessment. Um, and we need to keep letting people know because that New Horizons mission was amazing and it's giving us great information.